Maybe I shouldn't call you or leave a message at all. Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be getting cozy for fall in the new house. I have one of my favorite recipes I'm gonna be sharing with you guys in my new by DM Dutch oven. And then we are going to start laying out the living room. If you're new here, my name is Lauren Nicholson and I love to do all things home decorating, so cooking, cleaning, and all the fun organizational motivation. So definitely stop this video, hit the subscribe button, and give this video a thumbs up if you are excited for Halloween. All right, let's jump into today's video. I wanna hold you too. guys so here's what we have for dinner tonight i am going to be taking this ratatouille recipe that is not mine but i want to try a different way of making it and i've already decided i'm going to change some of the things here i wash my vegetables it's in my little pack for the night because i already knew i was going to be doing this recipe tonight and then i've got some sausages we're going to be doing mild and spicy and I'm gonna be using my By Diem Dutch oven. This is my favorite. I have cooked with this many times. I will link all of the videos down below. It's great for boiling, braising, roasting, and table service. It has ergonomic handles that come with like little handle covers so that you can serve it right at the table. I also love the color and design of the By Diem Dutch oven. It kind of reminds me of a little cupcake and it almost looks like a piece of art in my kitchen. Absolutely love it. It also has that really awesome venting hole. So when you're cooking things down, you can actually vent out to make a thick sauce, which we are gonna to need to do for this recipe today. I also love that it's cast iron. It can get super hot and really cook things at a thoughtful heat. And the lid is super secure and has these little spikes on top that allow the moisture that rolls up top to actually go back into the dish, making kind of a rainforest effect, which is really important. I absolutely love this. If you guys want to check it out, it's unbelievable. And I absolutely love by DM. I share this a lot. So if you guys want to check out those recipes, please take a look down below. And if you want to join me and purchase one of these, you can head over to the link down in the descriptions below. To get started, I'm gonna actually just prep all of the vegetables and things and ingredients I'll need for this recipe. I did my original, very traditional uh, French style ratatouille on my channel last year, so I will definitely link that video down below if you guys wanna check out. It's my favorite way to do it. It's also featured in the movie Ratatouille, so it's a super fun way, but it's very laborious, takes a long time to do. This recipe is more of a traditional, it's kind of like a summer's eve uh, style of ratatouille. So ratatouille is basically um, all the vegetables left over in the garden from summertime and we're going to stew them down with some tomato paste and just a bunch of delicious vegetables. I love this and using the by DM Dutch oven, it makes it a whole lot easier. But if you want to check out that recipe, I will link it down below. And as for this recipe, it will be fresh on my website at laurennicholson.com for you to download for free. So for today's ratatouille recipe, I'm going to be using things like bell pepper, some yellow squash, some zucchini, lots of garlic, and lots of onions, and I'm going to be using some eggplant. I start by using my By Diem Dutch oven. I put a little olive oil in there, and I will actually heat up my, my eggplants first. Once those have had a minute to warm up, I'm going to add my zucchinis and my yellow squash, and I will work with that for about maybe three minutes until it gets a little soft. The one thing you don't want one is for this recipe to get too soggy. So definitely follow the directions on the recipe that I will link down below. Once you have the zucchini and the squash and the eggplant nice and kind of cooked down so they're a little bit softer, go ahead and transfer them to a bowl. Now we're going to work on our onions and garlic and our bell peppers. I like to do these separately because the onions, garlic, and bell pepper need a little bit more heat to get translucent and to also get softer. So we're gonna cook those separately, then we'll add everything back in. To have found someone who is just as crazy as me. While we have everything kind of stewing down in our By DM Dutch oven, I'm going to get our sausage ready. So just throw that in a pan with a little olive oil. 
To finish off our ratatouille, I'm gonna add two bay leaves to our pan. I also went ahead and added in our tomatoes. You wanna use two different types. I have crushed canned tomatoes and I also have fresh tomatoes from our garden. So that makes it a whole lot easier to just add right in there and really bring out the brightness of those tomatoes. Once you have everything in there with your chicken stock, you can go ahead and add back all the other things and wait for your sausage to cook. To complete this dish, you wanna go ahead and slice up your spicy sausage or your mild sausage and get it ready to add on top. This is exactly how your rat tattoo should look, almost like a stew, but without the soup portion. We'll go ahead and add that to a plate and then neatly arrange our sausage on top and enjoy. And if you would like to check out the Buy DM Dutch Oven, I will put a link down below and order yours today so we can keep cooking all winter long. In my mind, yet to assume to mention how I've well, hello, sir. Hello, kind sir. Can I interest you in some lunch? Breakfast, perhaps? Oh, the cats are so happy here. I thought I'd show you guys the porch. Still looking so cute. I'm loving this porch. Okay, sorry. It's very bright. The sun rises in this house and then sets in the backyard. It's really beautiful. Okay, so here is what I'm going to be using. It's the Rust-Oleum. This is a, an enamel black. So, so since this kind of has a rough face to it, um, I'm not going to use like a chalk. I don't want it to look too farmhouse. I want it to look a little more modern. So that's why I'm going with, sorry, this flat protective enamel. So it's not high gloss. And we're just going to, I'm going to start by spraying the bottom. I'll let that dry, flip it over, and then we'll coat the entire thing. see it's very dark in there now but we're gonna let that dry so while that's happening I'm going to start measuring for furniture in here and kind of cleaning this room out and getting it ready for decor Okay, so here is the couch that I ordered for this room. I actually ordered two of these, and the price, like, you can't beat that price for this beautiful of a couch. So what I want to do is take a look at these dimensions. So we're, the length of this is 99 inches, depth is 40, 31 height. I don't care about height. So what I'm gonna do is using blue tape, I'm gonna actually tape out where these couches are gonna go so I can get a sense of how well this is gonna work in the space. And if I want to consider getting rid of that, keeping it there, just making sure that we still have a nice formal place for people to sit. I want to bring the anthropology mirror back, put it here, possibly. I also might put it over here as well. I don't know yet. I really want to paint this table, but that's what we're going to do. That's what I did at the tasting room to kind of get an idea of what it was going to look like, but let's go ahead and lay it out and see how it turns out.
Whenever you guys are moving or thinking about like redecorating a room, I highly suggest moving everything out and using the blue tape method to kind of measure out and see where things are going to fit. I would not have known if this was going to fit or not in this room. I already measured it when I bought it, but until we moved in, I was able to actually measure out to make sure it fits perfect, which it did. Um, I didn't want a super small couch in here, which made it a little bit uh, more complicated, but we may change this out. I have no idea, but for now, using the blue tape method to kind of measure out how things are going to look will give you at least some kind of sense of how you want to design a room before you actually go ahead and purchase something. This worked out great for me when I was decorating and designing our tasting room downtown Napa where I work and it worked great here at the house. Today as I'm doing this voiceover the furniture is actually coming today so I will film that and share with you all the different ways you can actually arrange a small living room like this. Even though we have tall ceilings the room itself is actually not that large. I will take you guys along with me, so if you are looking for any inspiration on how to redecorate a living room, I got you covered. If you guys want to say hi to Enzo, definitely pause this video and hit that thumbs up button so she knows that you guys are all watching. She absolutely loves you guys and we love her too. So definitely say hi to her by giving this video a thumbs up. The other thing I wanted to do was add these olive trees. Now these olive trees were actually meant for the kids rooms, but I thought they looked kind of nice and I wanted to see what they would look like next to the fireplace here. These obviously won't be staying through the holidays because girl, you know, I'm going to be putting up all the trees. So we are going to just check this out and I also had two baskets I picked up from home goods. I shared them in my porch decorate with me video, which I will put down below if you guys want to check it out. But I decided to bring them in, throw these inside just to see if the vibe is starting to come together. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Oh baby, love me like you did last night. I wanna hold you till the morning comes. Oh baby, love me like you did. Love me like you did. Oh baby, kiss me till I see the Enzo, are you climbing trees? Look at you, crazy girl. Look at you, my little wilderness kitten. Root. Look, Root is like, I'm going to try this. I'm pretty sure I can't do that. You want to try to get up there, Boochalotti? Huh? You're so cute. The kittens are so happy here. Hi, I know. You got your pumpkins? Got all the things? Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. No, I won't put you inside. You get to stay out and play. Look at you guys. Hi. What are you doing, buddy? What you doing? You're so handsome. So cute. All right, back inside. So in here, these curtains need to get totally changed. So just ignore those. So we'll have curtains here curtains over there. They're not here yet. Um, so couch will go here. I have a little console table there just to put like candles or whatnot on. Um, I might change those out so don't get attached to those. This is where coffee table will go. I'll bring that in right now and then two trees. And I was thinking of putting that mirror here just to kind of see how that looks. This gives plenty of space for this table um, which we'll do a, a cute little tablescape on today. Just kind of like want to make this room feel better. And then I've got this table, which I'm thinking of putting in there, but we'll see. It could also look very cute to put here when you come in the door and just put a floral arrangement because we've got this big space right here. That could be very cute. And then I'm, I'm loving these trees. I think they kind of warm the space up a little bit. They're actually from Teddy's bedroom, but uh, I ordered a second one. I thought it looked cute here. So we have that, so you'll come in. We'll have a nice table. You know what, I'm gonna try to bring in the coffee table right now. Let's do that and see how far.
Okay, so here is how this is turning out. I just wanted to put that there for a second to see if I like it, and I do. Um, I do. I think I, what I'm gonna do is keep that one there, and then we will put the big anthropology one here. I think that'll look beautiful. We have a really big chandelier coming that's gonna hang down to about here, so that'll be pretty. Here's the table I picked out. Um, this is really pretty. So I've got little drawers, probably keep candles in there. I wanted something very simple and black that would go with the fireplace. So that lined up really nicely. Couches will fit perfectly. Thank God. I was getting nervous it was gonna be like to hear, but it's fine. Um, so that's how this room is going to look. So now what I'm gonna do is turn to this area, do a very simple tablescape. I'll also put a little something on there. I think it'd look really pretty and we'll just keep moving along. We don't have a lot of furniture in this room and it's a little bit awkward I wanted to at least get this table set and make it feel a little bit more like home I feel like in the next month or so things are really gonna start to get dialed in but for right now the house still is very unmoved in I have lots of boxes in the garage that I just can't bring myself to unpack but I will uh, work has been crazy and I've just been so busy so to get started I wanted to just add a very sweet simple kind of this modern contemporary feel for fall and not go too deep. This is the one thing about this house that's been a little tough. There are things about this house that are looking and feeling a little more farmhouse and that's really not my style. I do love the essence of some farmhouse looks but I want the overall look of this house to be more modern contemporary with pieces and pops of a traditional kind of vignette. So that will be interesting to see how it comes together. I've been looking at all kinds of light fixtures and I've been leaning towards things that are very kind of I don't know, that look a little bit like a dupe for RH, but then I've also found some really beautiful traditional kind of Victorian pieces that I would also like to incorporate. So definitely hit the subscribe button if you are looking for some really great ways to transition your house from whatever it looks like now into something maybe modern, maybe traditional, maybe a little more contemporary. This tablescape is unlike most that I used to do at our old house because I really wanted to fit the vernacular of the new house. I'm gonna be adding some really beautiful picks here. I love this kind of layering of floral or leaves or any picks on a table because since I'm not gonna be sitting here, it can also look a little bit like a centerpiece. So it's gonna really anchor this side of the room. And once we get all the furniture in here, we're really gonna dial things up quite a bit. But for now, let's take a look at how this all turns out.
I decided to tuck in these mini wreaths I picked up from the dollar spot at Target. I want to say last year or the year before, and I think they just really bring the orange from the center of the table out into the seat. I think it turns out cute. I also picked up those glitter leaves from the dollar store. Oh my gosh, probably four or five years ago. I use them almost every season. I love them. I just keep them in a little Ziploc bag. And then I went ahead and added a really cute uh, acorn. I think I got those from Hobby Lobby. I don't know, but I just think it looks very sweet. And I hope you guys like this tablescape and getting ready to see the living room when it's all ready. I am about 10 minutes away from receiving the couches, so I gotta jump off of this voiceover and head downstairs and get ready to film that. I will see you guys very soon. I've got a day two of decorating in this house. You cannot miss. I, I also did a harvest party, which I have done in the past. So definitely if you wanna see the old one, check it out because it's epic and amazing with great recipes and definitely hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the new one. Okay guys, I'll see you in a new video very soon. Bye.